Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at distance and absolute value. It might look like that, it might look a little confusing, but we will get through it together. Let's get started. We're going to talk about the distance between two points, specifically on a number line, and then we'll talk about a formula for calculating that distance, and then we're going to do a whole bunch of practice. So first of all, when we're talking about integers, there's a way that we can measure the distance between two integers on a number line. Go ahead and measure that. What is that distance between those two points, 0 and 4? Perhaps you looked at it and you counted from 0 up to 4 or from 4 down to 0. Either way, it is a distance of 4. And that's what a distance is. It's that measurement between those two points. So we're going to look at the distance between several different points and try and get measurements of those distances. Go ahead and try this one out. Um, you can actually pause the video and do all four of these questions and then come back and we'll take a look at all the answers. Go. Welcome back. I hope you filled out that table and found the distance from nine to six is equal to 3. That's the measurement between them. The distance from 6 to 9, well, let's plot those points. Oh, it's the same. And it is the same distance. That's an important thing to note. How about the other ones? When we're going from negative 4 to positive 3, so down here, what's that measurement? Did you get 7? And then, of course, the final one is the same points, positive 3 to negative 4, so our distance should also be the same. It's an interesting thing about distance is it doesn't matter if you're going from left to right or from right to left, you get a positive answer and it's the same if the two points are the same. Having said that, there's some vocabulary and math that we use to, to say that basic thing. It's called absolute value. Absolute value basically means the distance between two points. And I know there's an official math terminology for it, but for the purposes of what we're talking about, it's the distance between two points. It will always become positive. So in the example we just did, we found 9 minus 6 and that was equal to 3, so the distance was 3. In the other example, we did negative 4 minus 3. That gives us negative 7, so we would say that distance is 7. Anything you have inside of those lines means it becomes positive. After you've simplified everything, you just make it positive. So if you end up with a 3, positive 3. If you end up with a negative 7, it becomes a positive 7. It's kind of like measuring. If you're measuring from left to right and you're measuring a distance of 7, it'd be the same measuring from left to right or from right to left. And that's what this is doing. It's going to give you a positive answer at the end every single time. Now, I want you to take everything we've talked about in the last couple of minutes and put it all together into a formula. A math formula that will help you to calculate the distance between any two points on a number line. Think about the absolute value. Think about what we just did in those examples. Think about those first four questions that you did on your own and come up with a formula, something that will work always to get you the distance between two points. I'm going to give you a second to think about that. Pause the video if you need to. You can seriously pause it. It's okay. I'm not going to play music or anything, but if you want me to stop talking in the background, then you definitely need to pause this. Okay, let's get started um, with our formula. The distance formula will simply look like this. It's the absolute value of 0.1 minus 0.2, or the difference between those points. We're going to look at the distance between these four points these four sets of points, I should say, and use this formula. And you'll notice that there's an increasing number of negatives inside of these points and that the negative, we switch it back and forth of where it is. And this is all on purpose so that we can see that this distance formula will work no matter which points we're, we're looking at, which integers we're looking at. Let's do it. First off, point nine and six. 
So we're going to take the first point, 9, and we'll subtract the second point, 6. And remember, it's inside absolute value, so 9 minus 6 is the absolute value of 3, which will give us positive 3. Anything inside the absolute value sign at the end becomes positive. We can check this down here by actually putting the points in and measuring between them if we want, but we can see clearly there that it is definitely 3. All right, let's get rid of those points and move on to our second set of points, negative 1 and positive 4. So this will be negative 1 minus 4, which gives us negative 5, and the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Remember, this is a measurement. The measurement of negative 5 is kind of like measuring from, from right to left instead of left to right. It's still going to give you a positive distance. So we'll fill that in as 5. You can double check using those points. All right. Let's go on to our next set of points. From 2 to negative 4 would look like this. 2 minus negative 4. Whenever I see that minus negative, I always change that into a positive. Minus negative becomes positive, so it would look like this. 2 plus 4, which is a lot easier to work with, and that gives us 6. The absolute value of positive 6 is 6, so we'll fill that into the table. We can look at those points there if we want to, to go ahead and measure the distance, just to double check that it's right. And for our last set of points, we're going from negative 3 to negative 7. That's going to be kind of complicated because there's a whole lot of negatives in there. Negative 3 minus negative 7. Let's simplify that by making it negative 3 plus 7. Negative 3 plus 7 gives us a positive 4, which simplifies down to 4. Again, that distance you can see on the number line from negative 7 to or from negative 3 to positive, or to negative 7, blah, blah, blah. from negative 3 to negative 7 is definitely a distance of 4. So our formula has worked with all of those. We've tested them using the number line to make sure that it works no matter where the negatives are, as long as we follow all the rules for adding and subtracting integers. So that's pretty good, pretty decent. So, what to expect from the beginning of class? We talked about distance between points, we talked about formula, and we did a bunch of practice. I hope that session was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.